Hey there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm going to do a push ads case study. I'm gonna show you every single little thing you need to know as an affiliate marketer to set up a push ads campaign. I'm going to be using Rich Ads as the traffic platform and I'm going to be running traffic to a lead offer. I'm going to show you every single little thing about it from beginner to advanced, showing you precisely how to set this up for yourself. I'm gonna show you all the tools I use as a CPA affiliate. I've done millions of dollars in revenue as a CPA affiliate and you're gonna see every single step here in this training, all free on YouTube. Tune in now. Okay, so you wanna run push ads. I don't blame you one bit. It's a great traffic source for CPA affiliate marketers, especially because of the way we can start running ads pretty much instantly and getting super cheap penny clicks. I'm gonna show you inside my computer here in a second. You're gonna see an example campaign. I'm gonna set it up in front of your eyes using real tracking, real affiliate step-by-step -step methods to get this set up for yourself. But first, please subscribe to this channel right now because there's going to be a second part showing you all of the data and that's coming tomorrow. So make sure that you tune in, subscribe to the channel, like it, comment, share, ask any questions. I will be here to answer any of your questions as we continue forward in this two-part series and you'll get every little piece of information along the way. Another thing, I'm going to be giving away two memberships to my premium training platform at powerhouseaffiliate.com. So all you need to do to qualify to be one of the winners is comment below to say push ads case study and make sure you comment that below and I will pick two people to get a lifetime membership at the Powerhouse Affiliate Training community. That means you don't have to pay a dime. You will always have access to our case studies, webinars, landing pages. Every single piece inside is yours. Okay. So those are the two things I wanted to announce. Now let's get into this rich ads case study. Rich ads is a great traffic platform. They have tons of ads. I'm going to show you here or tons of opportunity, I guess. And I'm going to show you inside here in a minute why I prefer to use them over other push ad networks. Now there are other push ad networks out there, but this one is about rich ads. So let's talk about them today. And I'm gonna show you some ads that are currently running, ways to set up your landing pages, all of that great stuff, tracking, how to optimize, and that's all gonna be part of this training. Completely free, I'm not trying to sell you anything here. There will be a few tools I mentioned throughout this training that you may want to purchase for yourself. If you do, I will be referencing my affiliate link and you can check it out if you want to support my channel, okay? Otherwise, you do not need the tools. If you are already an experienced affiliate, you will still get value out of this as you will see how other affiliates work using push ads. Okay, so let's get into my computer and let's start building this campaign. So I did start this campaign already. This is inside my CPV labs. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna blur out a couple areas during this presentation, but trust me, you will get to see the landing pages, you'll get to see the ads, you'll get to see all of the setup, but I am gonna be blurring out a couple of important uh, things in, in terms of uh, you know, just protecting my own privacy here, okay? but. That's not to say I'm not gonna show you everything, okay? So what we're gonna see here, this is inside my CPV labs. I ran a test campaign for one day on this particular campaign. We are running casino lead ads. This is, um, uh, I ran a direct link campaign just to see how the traffic would flow. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're looking to do direct linking as an affiliate, I highly recommend you do not direct link on push ads, especially or native ads or any other types of advertisements online because you have no control over knowing whether or not someone clicks through to the next phase and you don't know whether or not you have quality traffic, you don't know where people drop off, okay? And this is an exact example of what I mean, I got 508 clicks um, and I do not know if any of them clicked through because I direct linked, okay? So I don't know if any of the placements that I, I ran um, got click throughs and I don't know if any of the ads were getting better response and because I don't have anything to measure aside from just the direct links. All I can see is that, you know, I had a bunch of Chrome mobile users, um, 440 to be exact, Samsung browser, but really there's no conversions and that was 500 clicks. Now, how much did I spend for 500 clicks? This is the beauty of push ads, in particular, Rich Push. If you come into the reports here, I have it segmented here for the campaign that I ran briefly. It was a one day campaign 
and I spent roughly, let's see here, $21, uh, $22 almost for 500 clicks, okay? So that is a very cheap traffic source. It's great. Um, I ran it in Canada, and you're gonna see the offers I'm running here shortly. Uh, we're gonna be using CPV Lab Pro to set this up. There are other tracking platforms you can use to set this up. You can use BMob, which is free, dayjobhacks.com slash BMob for my affiliate link. You can get it free though. Uh, CPV Lab Pro is what I use. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash CPV Lab Pro and you will get that as well um, with a discount using the powerhouse code, okay? Now, if you don't have a rich ads account, then you can't really follow along here. So what I would suggest is you get your account now. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash rich ads and you will get a 10% bonus code using the the code powerhouse. So basically whatever you deposit, you'll get 10% more. So you're actually gonna get some free traffic by going to dayjobhacks.com slash powerhouse or dayjobhacks.com slash rich ads and use code powerhouse when you're actually depositing and you will get a bonus, okay? So now we've got that out of the way. How would you go ahead and set up push ads here? Now let's first talk quickly about casino and push ads. Push ads work extremely well on uh, push ads because their uh, casino works really well on push ads. In fact, uh, Rich Ads recently did a presentation and a webinar on exactly how to run casino on their network. If you go to their blog here, you'll see there's watch the webinar here. And it, it's basically a complete breakdown of what I'm gonna show you right now in this video about running casino on a push ad. And I'm gonna show you examples of what other, people's are do uh, other people are doing as well by showing you how you can get access to what people are actually doing. So if you need more information on this, go to the Rich Ads blog, check out this webinar um, as well. And we also have some more case studies inside at uh, Powerhouse Affiliate. Here in the case studies section, you'll see we've also done other case studies on Rich Push. We did one here uh, on this one that ended in a profitable campaign where we were running some security software. Uh, it'll, it'll explain why we switched from Propeller to Rich Ads in that case study. You'll actually see that as a member of Powerhouse Affiliate Premium. And again, if you commented earlier in my contest, you will get access to this for life if I choose you as one of the winners, uh, one of the two winners, okay? So moving on, let's now actually set this up and show you how I'm going to do it. So inside the campaign stats, I ran it as a direct link. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change this to a landing page campaign because I wanna be able to get the data. I wanna be able to see when people click through my landing page. So the first thing we need to do is obviously set up a landing page. I'm not gonna go into depth on how to set up landing pages. Go to powerhouseaffiliate.com slash action dash plan. You'll get the actual plan on how to set up landing pages. Also inside as a premium member, you can also get access to our landing page templates where we do actually have some templates here on Casino. So you'll see actually landing pages I use where I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on these landing pages in traffic. You'll see uh, a couple here for Casino. There's one here, Casino, Yukon, Zodiac, Sweeps, all these ones. There's, you, you know, we have a ton of landing pages you can get access to in there, but I'm not gonna set those up because this is something I'm gonna assume you already know how to do, but I will show you how to set up the campaign inside CPV Lab. So to switch this now to a landing page campaign, I'm gonna click here, edit campaign in campaign and uh, CPV Lab Pro. I'm gonna come down to here where it says campaign type and it was set to direct link. Now I'm setting it to landing page and I've set in my landing pages down here into the section here. So I, I've selected, you know, test A, then I entered the domain name of where I've set up the actual landing page. And then I put this ID here, okay? I have three landing pages that I'm gonna test on this campaign. So what I've done is I've set up three landing pages on this domain, similar to the ones that you would see inside Powerhouse Affiliate. Um, nothing secretive here. I'll show you an example here so you can see one live. 
Uh, but basically I've set this share at 33% and I've created two more pages at 33%, running all three, each, uh, each one has a separate ID. Now when you're running on rich ads, you're gonna wanna set these macros and tokens as well so that all of this data comes into CPV Lab, okay? So I'll, I'll just let you, you can pause the video right here, check out these macros and these placeholders and parameters, and you can copy this and build yourself a traffic source inside CPV Lab Pro, okay? Very easy to do simply come up into settings and you would click traffic sources and then you would add those macros in there as you build your traffic source so that every time now I come here and I select rich ads as my traffic source, it's basically got all those macros set for me because it's very important that you have those so that when you run traffic to the CPV Lab link, you're gonna get all of that data inside CPV Lab Pro. So I've also set up the offers. So scrolling down on CPV Lab Pro, you can set up your offer. The offer I'm going to be running is a first name, last name, email submit. So it's kind of like a sweeps offer where you get paid for an email submit, but this one is gonna be first name, last name, email. And that's why I'm getting paid $4 US per conversion. I have other versions of the offer that I could test later. They're from the CPA network. You're looking for a lead generation type of offer if you're running on push ads, in my opinion. So you're gonna try and collect leads and this is the best way to go. So I'm gonna be setting up the offer here. I've set it up already and I've added the sub one. I'm, the tracking platform we are gonna be using for the CPA network is Everflow. So that's why I've had the sub one equals and that's going to automatically send uh, click ID to the network. This may be too advanced for some people, but if you look at some of our other trainings and my other videos on this channel, you'll understand what I mean. I'm not gonna to get too uh, convoluted here. I'm just gonna explain quickly what I'm talking about. This is uh, gonna send an actual click ID to the network automatically, and then I can send the conversion when it happens at the network back into CPV Lab. So this is it, and then I've saved it, and then I've created my landing pages. Um, and I'll, let me just show you one example of the landing page I'm going to test for push ads. So with push ads, the trick with landing pages is you want to try and engage the users quickly because they're going to be, most of them are going to be on their mobile. They're going to be looking quickly. They want something that catches their attention quickly, either a really aggressive headline or something that looks like it's loading or a game that's going to quickly get them to start um, engaging with your site. So I'm going to show you an example. So here's one example. As soon as they land on this page, this is what it's going to happen. It's going to make it look like it's loading a free bonus offer for them. It's going to give them some information and then boom, it's going to tell them they have a chance to win a $6 million mega vault millionaire jackpot. Okay. This is kind of an example. And then they go to the offer, which will be the casino offer. Okay. So they've got hundred free chances. If they enter their first name, last name and email and click confirm and submit, I basically make four bucks US, okay? So at penny clicks and a landing page, I should be able to make this work, right? So let's just find out how to do that now. So let's go and assume you've set up your campaign in CPV Lab Pro, you have your landing pages, you have your offers set up. Um, if you need any more information on that, go to CPV Lab Pro and search their documentation. They have tons of training in there. You can read about how to set up your campaigns and all that stuff, it's super easy once you've read through the documentation. And also there's training, like I said, the free stuff at Powerhouse Affiliate to show you how to set up landing pages and, and stuff like that. So now I can grab my campaign link here and start actually promoting this on Rich Ads. So let's go into Rich Ads now, and we're gonna set up the campaign. Now I've already set up the campaign here, and here it is, the Rich Ads case study. That was the direct link test that I was just basically testing the, the direct linking, okay? I'm gonna have to put on my glasses here because this is hard to see for me. Um, so here were a couple of ads I did uh, briefly. Be an instant millionaire, you've won 100 chances, right? So these are just kind of quick hit ads. You're trying to get their attention, trying to get them to click. Now I have some new ads that uh, I was able to reach out to an ad rep. If you're starting out on rich ads and you want 
and you have a budget and you've deposited some money and you're actually serious to start getting ads going, reach out and ask for an ad rep. They will help you not only with ad creative, but they will also help you in getting some information on where you should be targeting your ads when you set up your campaign in here, okay? I'll show you briefly about that here in a second. But to add an ad, you would just basically start by clicking campaigns and then create campaign, and then this is where you're gonna start. So as you can see, I've, I've already inserted my, my campaign URL here and as well here in the destination URL. This is the campaign URL from CPV Lab Pro. These are two example offers uh, or ads that I'm running. I'm gonna add two more. I wanna have at least four, maybe five ads to test in this new test with the new landing pages. So I have basically five ads and three landing pages. I'm gonna test all at once for maybe one day just to see the results, okay? And then we'll see the results tomorrow and I'll talk about optimizing and how it converted and all of that stuff, okay? So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So when you're choosing an icon, make sure you choose <coughs> icons that catch the eye. People are gonna see these notifications. You gotta get them to click on it, okay? So there's the actual icons. You could also use cash picks, all this stuff. So if you want, let me just show you one trick and this is a fairly advanced strategy. What I would also be doing, which I've also done already, um, is I've gone into Adplexity. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash Adplexity. Get yourself $80 off this tool, up to $80 off, uh, depending on which one you pick. Adplexity is an ad, um, uh, it's a spy tool basically that shows you inside basically what everybody is already running, okay? So you can even come in here, you can select Canada. If I'm running in Canada, I can pick the traffic source. As you can see, these are all push ad networks. Rich push is right here. I can select that and I can see basically ads that have been running already. So if I wanna pick ads that have been running 12 days or more, we'll say, uh, this shows me that these ads are successful. I can pick Canada here. And now I can see basically what people are running already. As you can see, here's the flashy pics. Here's the, you know, flashy icon, flashy pics. And again, another one here. Um, I can see basically already what's happening. So I already know that these ads are running. Um, so it kind of shows you basically everything you need to know. So adplexity, dayjobhacks.com slash adplexity. If you want a, bonus, uh, a discount on that, but at the same time, um, you're gonna see a ton of different ads and different ideas, basically in any country, any traffic source, any ad network, affiliate network, all that stuff. But uh, that's an advanced strategy. So here we go, I've just set up a sample ad here. Join now, start your success story with us right now. Uh, free chances to be our next instant jackpot winner or whatever it is. Okay, so this is just an example. Um, I'm gonna set up a few more ads here as well. And then we're gonna see the actual data later once we start running these ads again. Okay, so here's the post back that you can use to post back conversions into Rich Push. Coming down, um, you can take that and put that into your network or into your CPV lab or whatever tracker you're using and it'll send back the conversions into Rich Ads. Coming down, I've selected the country here. We're gonna target Canada, but again, you can choose any country that your offer accepts. I've enabled the technology tracking and I'm going with mobile right now. You can check all the other ones here if you want. You can go desktop or mobile or anything else. You can target by browser, connection type, device, and we can do that later once we have more data on our conversions to see Maybe we want to turn off certain browsers and all that kind of stuff. We can do that inside Rich Ads, which is great. I've set my cost per click at uh, four and a half cents. You can set whatever they recommend here. They recommend seven, but in this case, still getting lots of traffic at four and a half cents. You can again test this and tweak it at all you want, okay? I've set my CPA goal at $3. I'm getting paid four, um, but I mean, you don't have to set a goal here. You, uh, I'm just doing that because I have the smart cost per click enabled. That'll allow the system here at Rich Ads to optimize my campaign for me and optimize my bids where they think that the conversions will happen for me, okay? So that's why I have this set at a, a you know, a, a, a fairly decent rate compared to what I'm getting paid. I could always, again, adjust this later. I've set a small daily budget at $25 per day. Um, so, I mean, you can test and tweak as you, again you go. And here's where we get into the subscriber list IDs, okay? So these are list uh, IDs that are available that you can target. Generally, when you start, all of them are selected and it's recommended that you test everywhere just to find out where the conversions are going to happen. However, if you have an ad rep, you should probably ask your ad rep 
where are the best places for me to advertise right now? They will tell you which ones to pause depending on whatever niche you wanna take on here, okay? So I've done another video on sweepstakes with Rich Push, you can check it out, it'll probably pop up here. Um, you can check that out. So if you're running sweepstakes, maybe it's not the best place um, for some of these placement IDs. So you wanna ask your ad rep, or if you have a decent budget and you wanna start slow, start with a small daily budget, see and test all of them at once, maybe if you, if you wanna just bypass the whole contacting them and stuff like that, and see where you're going to get the most conversions and then start pausing them by clicking on these and either turning them on or off. So the check mark means they're on, the check mark, obviously the empty box means they're not on, okay? Impression cap here, I usually set at two or three. Um, this just means basically that how many times is the same person going to see your ad in the same day, basically, okay? So basically, um, this is what I've done here. And you can change the day. So if you, wanna, if you want to say, I only want them to see it twice every seven days, then you would set that here, okay? Uh, clicks cap is enabled. I'm saying two clicks per user. This is for those placements that maybe have somebody like, automatically clicking all the time or by mistake they're clicking on all their friggin notifications i don't know whatever happens here but i only want them to click be able to click it twice okay so that's why i have a click cap here as well um, carrier targeting i haven't set yet but i may later you can change that browser language again i haven't set yet but i may depending on the data and what i see inside cpv lab and the data they provide me here inside rich ads let me just say that you do not need to have a third-party tracker with rich ads unless Unless you're using multiple landing pages and you're trying to test and see which landing page has the best click-through rates where you do need a third-party tracker okay so that is why I use the third-party tracker coming down here uh, timetable you can again set your day parting which is awesome if you um, want to set your ads to only run a certain time of day or certain times of the week I find with casino in general after again spending a ton of money on casino that weekends and evenings seem to work a lot better. Maybe it's because people are coming home from work, they need some entertainment, whatever it is. So running evenings, weekends might be a better option here. I have the ability to do that inside Rich Ads, okay? But I have not done that yet because again, we are at the testing phase. We wanna test everything before we start going real laser targeted uh, on our ad campaign. Automated rules, another great feature here at Rich Ads. You can start setting up automations. So if you see, uh, you can set up a, an automation to say, hey, if this subscriber list gets way too many clicks with no conversions, boom, you can shut her down, okay? Automatically, and that is a type of uh, thing that sometimes you have to pay like 300 bucks a month for these softwares out there that do this for you, that cl click through through their API and all this, and you're, you're, you know, you're, you're buying this software that does all these automations for you. I find this is great to have it right in the ad networks. And if more ad networks would do this, uh, I think it would save advertisers a ton of money um, in terms of these third-party softwares that are kind of overpriced in the first place. Uh, budget type, as soon as possible. I usually set that at ASAP. You can also spread it throughout the day even. Um, budget ASAP means uh, your 25 bucks will literally be spent within an hour. Um, so if you want to spread it out throughout the day, set it to even. Let's just set it to even for this initial test so that we can get all hours of the day and see what we're going to uh, what we're gonna have tomorrow. White lists and black lists I have used as well. We used them quite a lot in our last case study with Rich Ads inside Powerhouse Affiliate where we finished profitably with the security software. We used the white lists and we also used the black lists. You can see all of that detail in there and I'm likely going to be using it here on this campaign as it moves forward into the future. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna leave these blank. And basically what you wanna do here is you wanna blacklist or, or whitelist certain placements so that you can get traffic from them. You can also do micro bidding, which is awesome. Again, did that in the previous case study, maybe we'll do it here, but you can basically set a bid per uh, placement. So it's really helpful if you find a placement that's really converting mad, then you wanna come in here and jack the bid on that one, but not jack the bid on the whole campaign. So that's what we're gonna do. So right now I'm just gonna click 
update campaign. So that is it. Now it's going to be submitted to the ad review team. And at this point I wait and within 20 to 30 minutes, I'm going to start seeing traffic coming into CPV lab. I'm going to be monitoring it over the next 24 hours, especially if you're just starting out, you want to monitor your traffic coming in. You might see that you set something up wrong, something's not tracking. You want to catch that early so you can find out where your mistakes are so you can make sure you have all the data you need to start Start optimizing okay again also you're gonna to want to watch the placements because at this point um, you're gonna you, if you're running on all placements you might actually get a ton of traffic from one single site ID and you want to make sure that it's converting and if it's not you want to turn it off so it doesn't eat up your entire budget okay um, so keep an eye on all that really early in your campaign for the at least the first three to five days You're gonna to want to watch this campaign. We're gonna tune in tomorrow I'm gonna to show you actual data from this showing you how it worked out um, What you know what converted what didn't convert and, and all that stuff. So if you're again If you want to see that subscribe to the channel like the video here comment below Again, push ads case study to be qualified for the free lifetime membership at powerhouseaffiliate.com. Don't forget to get your 10% ad credit at Rich Ads. Go to dayjobhacks.com slash rich ads. Use the bonus code powerhouse for your 10% bonus. And we will see you tomorrow with all of the data and optimization strategies to move forward with push ads. I hope you enjoyed that video. If there's any questions, anything you wanna see in tomorrow's video, make sure you comment below so that I can put that into the case study.